Hi everyone. So today we would try to create this particular image. We will just take the reference of the pose and uh, other than that we will try to recreate the image in the same pose but in a different setting. So there are lots of things I am using control net so I'll be moving a little bit fast. The thing is uh, firstly in the control net we will be using just one control net. Enable it pixel perfect is always good and uh, for uh, check this allow the preview button because uh, it will help us see the preview for the preprocessor i am using soft edge for this pd net works generally well for me and this is the model now remember we just need to take the pose we do not want the exact setting or anything like that so i have particularly seen put the control width somewhere around 0.6 to 0.7 Starting control step should be zero, and it generally works. But the ending control step should be 0.7. This means that after 0.7, the model is working on its own. Till uh, that point, how many steps have been done? It is working on that. So if uh, the model wants to take some liberty, for example, like fingers or stuff like that, it can work on that. Control mode is going going to be my prompt is more prominent because we just need an overall pose. and resize and fill helps because uh, you can see the aspect ratio and the generation ratio is different here so it just fills the background and everything dynamic thresholding i am using the reason for this is because i am using a cfg scale which is very high it's 24 so for this uh, i am using the dynamic threshold of 16 mimic scale 16 threshold percentile is 1 cosine down on both just make the scaling start point at 0 and other than that these settings are uh, standard and these are the default settings i have just changed these cosine down i have made the mimic scale 16 and the scaling start point is 0 free u integrated is enabled uh, i generally have different uh, parameters for xtxl but for this uh, time I, it was looking that this is working fine the default uh, parameters self attention guidance is enabled again the default parameters i have not changed much coming up you can see i am using real viz uh, sdxl model here the sampling step would be 50 and the sampling method is uh, dpm++ sd keras and uh, we'll create four images cfg scale again is very high and we'll fix the face so don't worry uh, worry about the face uh, don't use the ad detailer in here we'll uh, fix the face later you can see this is the prompt so firstly i try to define the prompt as good as possible using these particular parameters then i would generally like to put uh, a portrait or photograph by some ra uh, like famous photographer Uh, it would not exactly copy the photographer stxl uh, is not that capable but uh, generally it is like reciprocated in mid journey but it kind of gets something interesting out of it and you can see the second part is completely uh, defining a realistic image so raw candid cinema 16 mm color graded film and uh, stuff like that so you can do do all of these you can uh, put the textured skin these are little things but which uh, help it generate like more realistic image and this is the default like negative uh, prompt which i generally use uh, cartoon anime ugly nsfw so now i'll be running this so we can see the images are ready look for any kind of abnormality or the overall composition you can see there are four fingers here the thumb is generally not visible in this position it would be behind the palm so yeah looks decent uh, this one you can see there are five fingers although we can fix it with in painting but it's better to rerun a couple of times to get a particular composition and uh, fingers right 
again this also looks good this is not weird you can see the hand here is getting a little weird but in general this would have been quite a good composition i actually like this one a lot this is this can be a personal preference but i kind of like this one or this one the hand looks a little bit more extended will change to dream shaper turbo this is to give the realistic feel and i'll bring down the sampling steps to 10 as the keras we are not going to change the resizing tab and we need let's say eight images cfg scale should be one denoising strength somewhere around 0 0.35 to 0 0.45 let's do it 0 0.42 i have seen this is generally a sweet spot i'll enable free you integrated self attention we are not using dynamic thresholding here and in a detailer we'll actually enable it and in the face we can put like weird face bad eyes deformed so that's just it and yeah let's run okay so we have eight images let's look through these the hand in this one looks okay it is i know a little bit off but uh, it's pretty doable sampling step changes so you'll have to be careful about that and the other things are same i'll run it again I think the hands look better in this particular composition and overall too. Yeah, definitely. You can see extra finger was introduced in this. Here the fingers are bad. There are just some minute changes and stuff like that. So I think this one has to be my favorite. This looks pretty good. Now what I'll do is I'll send this to image to image again. Here, right. And I'll turn off the AD Taylor because I don't need it currently and we'll keep everything same I'll resize it by 2 and I'll put the denoising strength lower probably somewhere around 0.15 So basically you can see this is somewhat higher resolution. The fingers look pretty okay, I would say. There are four fingers and everything look pretty okay. So I'm quite happy with the generation. So yeah, that would be all for this particular video. And I think you understand pretty well how we can like recreate same poses but change the complete setting.